Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. Okay, let's talk about a few other ways that we can import or bring in our images into Lightroom other than the standard import dialog box. So let's go to our file menu and you'll see that we have import from another catalog. What this will allow you to do is if we select import from another catalog, we can choose any other catalog that we have on our hard drive and it will allow us to open up those images and import photos directly from that catalog. The benefit of doing this is that it'll actually import the, the settings for those images along with those images into your catalog. So you can transfer images easily from one catalog to another. Now, we don't need to do it because it's, it's actually really simple to do. All I gotta do is find a catalog file, select it, and then it will bring up the same dialog box to import based on that catalog file. So let's skip that, let's go on to the next one, which is import via tethered capture. Okay, so tethered capture is, has been really easy to do, and what that is is it's going to import directly from your camera as you're shooting. Since Lightroom 3, this has been a really simple thing to do. All you do is you say start tethered capture. You're going to enter in the session name. So we're going to say, we'll just say uh, SR Lounge Practice Session. Now, if you guys would like to segment the photos by shots, which basically means to create subfolders within this session name, then you can click the check mark. For now, we don't need that. So we're going to move on. This is going to be the naming system that's going to be used, and right now it's just going to follow the naming system based on the session name. But we can change it to any other naming system. Once again, we have the rename dialog box pop up, where we can choose a file name system, a numbering system, and any additional items that we want to add to that, uh, to that naming system here. We're next going to choose a destination. So in our case, we want to choose the same destination as our existing originals folder. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our whip drive, to the project and where the catalog is stored, the Lightroom 4 A to Z training DVD, and then we're going to go to LR4 A to Z catalog. And this is where our originals folder is. So we're going to select that folder and that's going to be the folder we're going to import to. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select our metadata preset. Once again, we're going to use the SOL generic. We don't need any keywords. And then we're going to hit OK. At this point, it creates a folder, a subfolder under originals for the SR Lounge practice session. And what happens is it brings up the tethered capture dialog box. Now, as soon as you plug in a USB, a camera via USB, it's going to automatically detect the camera. And once you start shooting, it's going to automatically import those into Lightroom. It's that simple. It's really easy. When you're done, you just close this out and you're good. Because we don't need to import any more images or do anything else with that right now, I'm just going to remove this SR Lounge practice session folder that we created by right clicking on it and clicking remove. All right, the next option we have is to import from another application. Now, I seldom, if ever, use this feature, but if you guys do have another application that you want to pull from, by selecting this, you'll be able to choose that application. You can create a new Lightroom catalog or add those things to the existing catalog, and then you just choose your destination, hit import, and it's going to pull everything in. Now, I don't use this, but if you use something like maybe Photo Mechanic or something else, maybe you would use this feature. So we're going to cancel this out. We're going to go back up to File. And lastly, I want to talk about this auto import feature. Now the auto import feature will basically allow you to set up a specific location. We're going to select it now. It'll let you select a location on your hard drive that becomes a watched folder. So for example, we choose maybe something on the desktop where we would say, we'll create a folder here that's called auto Im LR4 import. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. But this is going to become a watch folder, which means that whenever we drop images into this folder, then it's going to automatically import them into this catalog. Now you do need to have this enable auto import setting checked, and it's going to automatically turn it on. And now we choose a destination just like you would before. We choose a file naming system and our develop and metadata uh, presets as well. And that's it. Again, it's going to import directly from that location. This is something that I don't really use because I'm typically pulling off of CF cards and other hard drives. There's not necessarily a need to have a specific location on my hard drive just for importing. I'm usually pulling directly from a camera or card. But if this is useful to you guys, you can set that up as well. So those are the different import options that we have in Lightroom. Let's move on to the next tutorial.